Hello, welcome back. I am here with a almost a grocery haul. I mean it is, but we put a lot of stuff away because it's like a thousand degrees in the house. It's 85 outside. It's what mid-September. This is ridiculous. Of course, we live in Wisconsin. We don't have air conditioning, so it's just hot. So we put all of the super perishable things away. This is what I'm left with. And um, anyway, we're going to get right to it. We had a busy day. I had a kid with an orthodontist appointment. We just spent the day running errands. Um, now it's like the middle of the day and we're gonna be home for the rest of the day and get some schoolwork done. Oh, and maybe, I don't know, fill up some water balloons or something. It is hot. I just came upstairs and I'm already sweating. It's just disgusting. I'm ready for fall, except for fall goes too fast and then it's winter and I'm not ready for winter yet. So I guess we're just stuck with this 85 degree day that's a little bit miserable. So, all right, here we go. We're gonna start at the end of this table. These are not groceries, as you can see. Um, because we live here. This is school and those are pumpkins that we grew and some flowers that a friend gave us and some wedding invitations and more school and some art supplies that needs to get put away because this is called life and when you have a 12 foot table you can have a little bit of life at one end of the table and then you have the rest of the table to work with so all right on to the groceries. Nobody likes this stuff but it doesn't have any terrible for you oils in it so I got it again. Sorry family. Um, anyway, so two containers of peanut butter, uh, some mixed nut butter for my peanut allergy friend, uh, two containers of mayonnaise, I did three jars of Alfredo sauce, I'm going to be making some chocolate hummus for a gathering this weekend, so I got some garbanzo beans, some rogue bananas that shouldn't be here, but that's okay. I always forget to get salsa when I'm at Costco, and I remember it this time, so I'm so happy because I love this stuff, so got some salsa. And um, I picked these up when Gianna had her wisdom teeth out recently. Um, and so they're not super cheap, but they're really hearty. So I just grabbed a couple of them for the college kids. Grabbed this also for the college kids, um, just something easy to pack if we don't have leftovers or something. Um, also, these are for college kids to just grab fruit. Usually they'll just grab a piece of fruit, but sometimes you just need to get some prepackaged something. Um, I'm hoping to get some meals in the freezer. We have a crazy fall and it would maybe be beneficial if I thought ahead and froze some meals that I can just pull out. Um, we we're out of plastic wrap and someone told me we were out of sandwich bags. I don't know if that's true, but I was at the store and I grabbed them anyway. All right, we have some uh, cranberries. We we're making a broccoli salad, so that goes in there. We needed some more dish soap. I despise Walmart and we had to get this and this at Walmart because Aldi doesn't carry shortening. Um, I, we only use shortening for like one thing in the house and that's my mom's chocolate chip cookies. Um, and I'm sorry mom, this is not Crisco, but Crisco is like $4 more expensive than this. So that's what happens. Um, anyway, a bag of chips, another bag of chips. You can go right there. Um, did a container of maple syrup, some baking powder, some baking soda, some tortillas some summer sausage. We'll probably have like half of that for like a quick lunch or something and the other half for another day. Um, we were all out of avocado spray. You have what? Oh, you be so careful with those scissors. I'm gonna go cut some cool stuff out. Awesome. Um, we're almost running out of rice. So I just grabbed a big thing of rice and some onions, some cilantro. I think we're okay with coffee. Uh, but I really, really, really don't want to go back to Costco anytime soon because it's like almost 45 minutes away and I just don't want to make that drive again. So, um, some pretzels for the hummus. I could not find any gluten-free pretzels, so we might have to look for those somewhere else. I got just this cheap sugar, which it wasn't cheap because nothing is cheap, but got some sugar um, to make some crab apple jelly with, which we will be doing tomorrow, I hope, although it's really hot. so. Maybe not tomorrow. And then I got a giant bag of organic cane sugar, which is what we use for most of our baking. We're almost out of taco seasoning. I don't even, I have not read the ingredients. I don't think I should. I'm not going to. Um, I know it's probably easier and healthier to make your own, but this is where I am right now in life. So I bought a big thing of it. And we use taco seasoning all the time. We have plenty of this. So I grabbed a bag just to have extra. Uh, we have a handful of people who are gluten-free, some of us who would be better if we were more gluten-free than we are. Um, and this flour at Costco is really, really good, especially for like muffins and cookies. Other than that, 
Uh, just don't try to find a gluten-free replacement <laughs> has been my experience. Store-bought gluten-free replacements are okay. Making your own, it's just kind of impossible. Like, we've never successfully made gluten-free bread. I don't even know if I've tried other than like maybe one or two times. So, but things like pumpkin muffins, zucchini muffins, banana muffins. Um, muffins seem to work a little bit better than loaves, I think, because there's just, they're less, there's less of it. And so, because gluten-free flour can be pretty dense. Um, anyway, that's my, that's my story about gluten-free stuff. Right, and I did pick up a big double thing of white sandwich bread, which is what we use for everything else. It's just all-purpose. I'm assuming unbleached because it's organic. I Maybe I should just assume that. Is it? What's wrong with me for not knowing? Hmm. Oh, unbleached. Of course it is. Okay. I picked up four bags of grapes. We will wash one whole bag and put it in individual sandwich bags for college kids, and then we will put the rest in the freezer. We'll eat them basically just... We go through basically a whole bunch per meal when we have grapes, so that's a lot. Um, I usually get the organic apples at Costco because they are a pretty, pretty good deal. These were like half off at Aldi and they looked really good and so I grabbed them. And then laundry detergent because I don't ever want to run out of that and some tomatoes. And I also went to Once Upon a Child, got two pairs of little boy shoes and a sweater for Marcy. All right, so in addition to all of this stuff that we got, I got um, a big pork loin, like a massive one, and a package of, I think it was 10 pounds of chicken breast, which was a lot. Um, I could not find any of the organic ground beef at Costco, which is probably fine because I think we need to, we're just gonna get some locally from a farmer who's literally like miles from us. Um, and the price is about the same. He's not like certified organic necessarily, but it's good beef, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, and then got a lot of dairy stuff, like got some cheese and some yogurt and some cottage cheese and some sour cream. I got a lot of butter. I will, the butter at Costco was a better deal. So even though I picked up butter at Aldi when I was there, I did go ahead and pick up more at Costco and then we just tossed it in the freezer because butter freezes is great. You can use it however you want after that. Um, what else did I pick up? Lots of fruits and veggies, broccoli, carrots, um, a couple frozen pizzas just to have on hand. Um, yeah, um, so here is the total. Ouch. Uh, yeah, so groceries are not fun right now. I don't know if anyone else is experiencing that. I feel like this is me on repeat, like, ha ha ha, everyone stop eating. Um, so here is my, I have a, I do have a tip for you on how to save money on groceries. And probably everybody knows this already, but in case you don't, and in case you need permission to be like, oh yeah, I should be better about that. I don't buy drinks. We buy coffee beans to make our own coffee. Um, and other than like a special occasion, like if we're entertaining, if there's a birthday, we just don't purchase drinks. Um, they're expensive. We drink water. We don't even purchase milk to drink. We purchase milk to like bake with or cook with. Um, milk is basically sugar water. Conventional at the store, you can do your own research, but in my opinion, milk at the store is basically sugar water because they've pasteurized any good things out of them and then they've added nutrients back in which your body doesn't absorb anyway. So again, you're just spending money to drink water. Um, that's my very strong opinion about store-bought milk. <laughs> And yeah, so that is my tip. I mean, I remember years and years and years and years ago when we had just moved here and uh, my husband works for a public university. The state legislature had not come to agreement on a budget and we thought everything was gonna shut down, which was a little frightening. Um, and then there were some weird budgetary things again. And so of course I was looking up like how to save money, how to save money. And I'd find like really unhelpful things like make your coffee at home pack your lunch and bring it to work. I, doesn't ever, I kind of think everybody does that. And I realize I am living in my own little world and I know that that's not the case. But yeah, I mean, that's, to me, it's like, okay, so for the people who already do that, how do you save money then? Um, anyway, so that was my frustration with all the lovely tips that weren't super helpful. Cause it's like, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna go spend $8 for a fancy coffee when I could spend $8 on two dozen eggs. Oh, the eggs. People, eggs, price of eggs. Whew. All right.
enough of my grumbling about the lovely expense of feeding this family. So here is part of the groceries for today. And now we are going to clear this table off, even all of that stuff. And I am gonna make kids do some schoolwork. Thanks for watching, bye.